flushing and purging the print heads and the lines they're pretty similar we do them at the same time basically so you're going to flush and purge we do it if the print heads are going to be idle for more than 48 hours is what matthews recommends it is completely up to you everything we're talking about today is to to increase the function of this print head take care of it keep your costs down take care of your print head so you get the most use out of it you can so 48 hours if it's anything over 48 hours or close to 48 hours i would always purge and flush basically what we refer to as flushing is when we force old fluid out of the lines until the new fluid comes through the print head nozzles. That flushing we're going to do with the screens or the valves we're gonna talk about here in a minute. That is actually the print heads. Purging is we have a purge valve on the lines. It's a quicker way to get the ink or the cleaner to the print heads. It opens up a larger port, forcing that chemical to the print head faster. We will get into all that. For flushing and purging, again, make sure you have gloves that are acceptable for acetone or alcohol, depending on the system you have. Make sure you have goggles that are over the glasses, safety glasses, if you have prescription glasses. And then we have a cup or a bottle, and we have some rags there ready to do any to clean up any spills. So flushing and purging, both of these are typically done at the same time. We have a video on our YouTube page already, so we're not gonna redo that video. We're just gonna go ahead and play this video for you now on how to flush the print heads for the weekend or for anything that's gonna be more than that 48 hours. How to flush the print heads for the weekend. It is important to flush the print heads prior to your printer having a break from printing that is over 48 hours. The blade saw can have up to three print heads, front, rear, and edge, and there are different combinations. The front print head always has either a 16 or 32 valve print head. The rear print head can have either a 7 or 32 valve print head. The print head is the key if it only has 7 valves instead of 32. This will be explained later. The edge print head will only have 7 valves. You can tell the number of valves a printhead has by physically looking at the size of the printheads when it's time. The safety equipment needed to proceed is face protection, such as goggles or a face shield, and rubber gloves. Other supplies needed are an empty container for waste collection and some shop towels. To start, send the gripper to the max distance away from the top clamp assembly. You will need to do a proper lockout tagout procedure on the machine's main electrical panel. Remove the wing nuts holding the plexiglass shield onto the top clamp guard assembly to gain access to the purge valves. Save the wing nuts for reuse. Here are the general locations of the purge valves for the three print heads your machine may have. Now is the time to look at the print heads to determine how many your machine has and the number of valves they have. In this example, we will use the front print head. Place a shop towel in front of the print head nozzles. Reverse the lockout tagout procedure. Go to the detailed diagnostic screen and select the printers tab. Select front from the drop down menu, then select cleaner. Place the manual purge valve for that print head into the empty container for waste collection. Then pull back on the valve and hold until the ink is gone and the cleaner is coming out. Go back to the touch screen and press the flush button a couple of times. This will flush cleaner into the head and through the needle valves of the print head. The explanation on the rear print head being the key. If the rear print head only has seven valves instead of 32 valves, first you need to turn the manual hand valve to switch it from the ink bottle to the cleaner bottle. Please note, if your machine has a 32 valve rear print head or no rear print head at all, and no edge print head, you will not have the manual hand valve on your machine. Now select Rear from the drop-down menu. You will not have to select Cleaner as it is grayed out if the printhead only has 7 valves. Follow the same manual purge and screen flush procedure as the front printhead. If your machine has an edge printhead and a 7-valve rear printhead, you have already turned the hand valve to change from the ink bottle to the cleaner bottle. 
If the rear printhead that you flushed has a 32 valve printhead, turn the manual hand valve now to switch from the ink bottle to the cleaner bottle. Select Edge from the drop down menu and follow the same manual purge and screen flush procedure as the front and rear printer heads. When you are ready to resume production, go to the Detail Diagnostic screen and select the printer tab. In the pull down menu, choose a printhead, front, rear, or edge, and then select Ink. If you had to turn the manual hand valve to switch from the ink bottle to the cleaner bottle for the rear or edge printhead, if your machine has them, turn it back to switch it back to the ink bottle. Place a shop towel in front of the printhead nozzles you selected. Place the manual purge valve for the selected printhead into an empty container, then pull back on the valve and hold it until the cleaner is gone and the ink comes out. Go back to the screen and press the flush button a couple of times. This will flush the ink into the head and through the needle valves. Repeat this process for the remaining printheads on your machine. When finished, do a proper lockout tagout procedure on the machine's main electrical panel. Reinstall the plexiglass shield using the wing nuts you saved onto the top clamp guard assembly. Reverse the lockout tagout procedure.